Hello, everyone. Welcome to English One. It's good to see you again. We will go over Unit Six today. 大家好，欢迎收看英文一的第六讲。我是郭小晴。It is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker today for this unit, Mr. Williams Wheeler. Hey, thank you, Michelle. Hello. It's good to have you. How are you today? Oh, good. I'm feeling great. Great, and me too. Oh, you too. <laughs> In this unit, or in pre, in the previous unit, we have talked about how necessary it is to have a college degree. And in Unit Six, we'll talk about an interesting topic: studying abroad. We in this unit will talk about whether to go abroad is necessary to go abroad. Williams, do you think it is important to study abroad or to have an international experience? Well. One of my favorite things about having an international experience is seeing the world like this when you're in your own country, and、yes. when you move out of your own country, I feel you see things in a much bigger scope, and you become more international, and I think you become a more interesting person. You learn things you will never get from a book, things you will never get from your hometown, and you're just going to be a more experienced person. That's a good point. 刚刚威廉老师讲呢。有机会到国外去，不管是念书，或者是有国外的体验呢，会让大家的视野从在自己的国家呢，到更放大，到其他的国度，或者是其他的文化。那在啊、呃，有机会呢，可以到其他的国家，会学到很多不一样的知识，增加自己的视野。那这可是在书本上呢，所学不到的。All right. Now let's take a look at、um, the reading text. Williams, would you please read the first paragraph for us?、Oh, of course. So, first paragraph: English has become the dominant language for communication in the world. English is the language used most prevalently for economic, scientific, political, cultural, social, and other purposes worldwide. It is spoken not only by people in primary English-speaking countries, but also by international people from different parts of the world. Researchers point out that billions of people speak English. Today, there are more non-native speakers of English than native speakers of English. 好，这一段讲到呢，最主要是讲英语的一些国家有多少人在讲英文呢？其实不见得只有英语人士哦。好，我们现在来看这一段的句子。English has become the dominant language for communication in the world. 英文呢，已经是世界上用来沟通最主要的一个语言。English is the language used most prevalently for economic, scientific, political, cultural, social, and other purposes worldwide. 在全世界呢，英文普遍的用在很多面向，经济 economic， 啊、uh, ，科学是 scientific， political 政治的 ，cultural 文化的 ，social 社会的，还有其他方面的功能。Worldwide 指的就是 in the world 是指在全世界。It is spoken not only by people in primary English-speaking countries, but also by international people from different parts of the world. 那英文呢，不只是只有英语啊、uh, 的国家来使用，其他来自世界各地的人也会使用英文。不不，不仅是，那就是 not only。那 primary 是主要的意思，所以就是不止呢是在英语系国家会使用英文，其他国家也是。Researchers point out that billions of people speak English. Today, there are more than more non-native speakers of English than native speakers of English. 研究指出呢，有几十亿的人都在讲英文。非英语为母语的人士呢，说英语的数量其实要比真正以英语为母语的人士还要多呢。Point out 是指出的意思。那 native speaker 指的是讲当地语言的人。那 native speaker of English 就是指以英语为母语的人。那 non-native speaker of English 就是非英语为母语的人士。Now let's take a look at second paragraph, Williams, please. All right, let's go. In the age of globalization, many governments 
see the importance of English and encourage university students to study in a global context to strengthen their English skills as well as expand their knowledge and experiences. The Taiwan government urges universities to seek international academic cooperation and to establish exchange student programs. The Ministry of Education provides scholarships for short-term study abroad and makes low-interest loans available for students who want to pursue an advanced degree. These scholarships are particularly helpful for students who are from low-income families. 政府呢有提供很多的机会，那如果大家把握的话呢，其实呃都有一些奖助金或者是贷款，可以让同学有机会呃出国。那现在很多大学也有呃跟其他的呃国外的学校有姐妹校，都有很多的合作机制。那我们
，在台湾呢，就是出国频率最高的国家有三个，那是美国、澳洲跟英国。The majority of Taiwanese students choose to study in an English-speaking country. One reason may be that English is a mandatory subject from primary to higher education in Taiwan. 那为什么大多数的国家会选大多数的台湾学生会选择去英语系的国家读书呢？那其中的一个原因就是，首先第一个原因可能是因为英文呢。在台湾，由小学到大学，其实都是必修的课程。那我们在前面几讲有提到 ，primary education 是指初等教育 ，higher education 是高等教育。那 mandatory subject 在这边指的是一个必修的课程。好，我们接下来继续看 ，almost。All Taiwanese students have studied English. English is a more familiar foreign language than other languages. 那几乎呢，在台湾从小到大，大家都学英文，所以也英文是比较熟悉的一个语言。Another reason could be that English is useful and valuable for future employment. 另外一个会到英语系的国家的原因是呢，英文。对未来的职场上是很有用的。English is widely used for international business communication. Studying in English-speaking country can greatly improve English skills. English proficiency will bring more opportunities in the future. 英文呢是广泛的使用在国际的商业沟通上面。那在英语系的国家读书呢，可以大大。大幅增加自己的英文能力，而有良好的英文能力呢，也会带来更多的呃就业或者是升迁的机会。Now, in this reading text, we have talked about the importance of studying abroad or importance of getting an international、um, experience. Now, what what are some benefits of、um, having an international experience? Williams, would you please、um, tell us some of the benefits? Well, my my favorite one right now is the cultural benefit.、Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm I'm from the West, and now I'm living in the East, and to see the difference in culture and the way that people are raised and the way that they think, it's amazing. I love it. It's so interesting, and I know I know you have a bunch of、uh, a bunch of、uh, of your own points here. I'm going to read them for you. Great. 刚刚威廉老师讲到呢，其实有国际经验最重要的是，其实啊、呃、自己的文化视野更加宽广。那啊、呃、，Williams is from Canada， 所以啊、呃，威廉老师是从西方世界到东方世界，所以一个东西文化的交流更开呃交流更开阔他的视野。那威廉老师接下来会帮我们念，就是有关于如果到国外念书呢，会有哪些的好处 ？Please read the benefits. Uh, for studying abroad, studying abroad can result in huge benefits for current or future career development. It can also open your eyes and expand your life experiences. So, number one, it is an optimal way to learn the foreign language. Ah,、uh, 到国外去呢是学习外语最理想的一个途径 Number two, it allows you to experience the life and the culture of the language you study. 可以让您体验生活以及所学的语文的文化。Number three, it will strengthen your life skills and communication skills. 还可以增强您的生活以及沟通的技能。It will help you see different ways of doing things. 也可以帮助您学习可以做不同啊、uh, 的做事方法。It will make you more open and more tolerant of different things and people. 可以让您心胸更开广，而且呢，可以接受度能够更高。Number six, it will expand your world view. 也可以开拓你的视野。And number seven, it will increase your employment opportunities. 也可以增加您的工作机会。From this list, it seems like studying abroad can improve language skills. Perspectives and also employment opportunities. Well, studying abroad is fun. It's not so easy, isn't it? What are the things、um, to consider if a student wants to go abroad? Well, 
<laughs> the first thing I ran into anyway was the, the language barrier. There's right. definitely, it's a, it's a hard time uh, getting over the communication. However, however, the Taiwanese and the local people around here are very lovely people and they're very helpful. Well, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. 威廉老师讲呢，其实要到国外去，真的没有这么容易啊。首先，第一个就是一个语文的障碍。那威廉老师来到台湾呢，也是要学中文，要跟当地人沟通，也非常的辛苦。但是呢，所幸我们台湾人
encourage. 动词鼓励。那它的名词 courage 是胆量、勇气的意思。那形容词 courageous。Children need to be constantly encouraged. 孩子呢需要常常被鼓励的。Context. 名词事件的来龙去脉，或者是呃背景情境。Commitment is very important to the context of the workplace. 敬业精神呢，在工作的环境中是很重要的一个元素。Strengthen. 动词加强、增强。那它的相反是 weaken， 削弱、减弱。The sentence, please. The villagers strengthen their fences to keep away wild animals. 村民们加强栅栏来防止野生动物的入侵。Fences 是指啊、呃、栅栏的意思。Wild animals 当然就是野生动物了。Urge, 动词催促、激励。The sentence. They urge us to start the game right away. 他们催促呢，立即开始比赛。那在这边 ，game 不是游戏，是指比赛的意思。Seek, 动词寻找、探索。The senior student is seeking an internship opportunity. 这位大四学生呢，正在寻找实习的机会。Internship 是实习。Academic. 形容词，大学的或是学术的，它的名词是 academy， 学院或者是大学。This semester's academic activities have more student participation than ever before. 这学期呢，有很多人参加学校的活动。Participation 是参加的意思。Cooperation. 名词，合作、协力。动词是 cooperate. This project needs the cooperation of every department. 这个计划呢，需要所有的部门一起通力合作。Establish. 动词建立、设立或者是创办。McDonald's was established in 1940. 麦当劳呢，创立于一九四零年。Scholarship. 名词奖学金。This diligent student wins scholarships every semester. 嗯、um, ，这位勤奋的学生呢，每学期都会获得多项的奖学金。Diligent 是很勤奋的意思。Win 是指获得或者是赢得。Next. Interest. 名词，利息。The sentence. When banks increase interest rates, people put more money in the bank. 当银行提升利息的时候呢，大部分人就会存比较多的钱放在银行。Loan. 名词，贷款。The company offers loans to their employees who are in need. 这间公司呢，有提供有需要的员工呢，贷款。那 loan 贷款，如果说 student loan 就是学生贷款。Available. 形容词，可以获得到的，可以买到的。Water is available in the room over there. 那个房间呢，有水可以取用。Pursue. 动词，追赶、追捕。那它的名词呢，是 pursuit. Everyone has the right to pursue happiness. 每一个人都有追求快乐的权利。Burden. 名词或动词，重担或负担。The sentence. Students with part-time jobs are burdened by a heavy work-study schedule. 有兼差打工的学生呢，是有比较大的负担的。他们需要兼顾学业以及啊、uh, 工作的一个时间表。Schedule 是指时间表的意思。Majority. 名词，多数或是过半数或大多数的意思。那它的相反是 minority， 啊、uh, ，少数。The minority, the minority of the class voted for Jane to be the class leader. 班上大多数的人呢，都选的真当班长。Class leader 是指班带或班长的意思。那投票选举呢是 vote. Mandatory. 形容词，义务的，强制的。Fastening seat belts is mandatory for everyone in the car. 现在呢，坐在车上的每一位人士呢，都必须要系上安全带。Fasten seat belt 是指系安全带。Next, valuable 形容词，有用的，有价值的。那它的名词是 value。This information is valuable for me。这个资讯对我来说呢，是很有价值的。Optimal 形容词，最理想的。It is the optimal solution for this problem. 这是解决这个问题最理想的办法了。Tolerance. 啊，动词，忍受，容忍。The man cannot tolerate his neighbor's noise. 这男士没有办法忍受邻居的噪音了。Immerse. 动词，埋首于或是陷深陷于。Students were immersed in their coursework. 学生埋头做课堂上的作业。Abroad. 
啊，赴职到国外。A few graduates are considering studying abroad. Ah, 有一些毕业生正考虑是否要出国啊念书。Tuition. 名词学费。The tuition of this private college is three hundred thousand dollars per year. 这所私立大学呢，每年的学费需要到三十万元。Documentation. 名词，它是一个总称，文件。The documentation for this application is incomplete. 这申请所需要的文件是有缺的 ，documentation 文件。那申请是 application incomplete， 它是一个形容词，不完整。complete 呢是完整的，前面加一个 i n in， 就是有相反，它是一个相反的字首。incomplete 就是不完整。After the vocabulary， let's take a look at a grammar point. In the previous unit， we have talked about verb i n g infinitive。Actually, verb ing gerund, 动名词 and infinitive, 不定词是可以当名词来用的。我们现在来看看一些例子。Williams, would you please read some sentences for us? All right. So our first sentence we have here is studying in an English-speaking country can greatly improve English skills. 在英语系国家念书呢，可以大幅的增进英文的能力。Studying. In an English-speaking country, 在英语系国家念书，那这个 studying 呢是当动名词，这是当名词来用。Next, smoking is bad for your health. 吸烟对身体来说不好。那 smoking 在这边就是名词，它是主词。Her favorite hobby is reading novels. 她最喜欢的嗜好呢是读小说。Reading novels 是一个名词片语，那在这边是当 is 动词的受词。To play basketball is his passion. 打篮球呢是他所钟爱的。Everyone wants to enjoy life. 每一个人呢都希望能够享受人生。It's a good idea to save money for a rainy day. 晴天呢，储存雨天的粮食呢是个好主意。那我们前面呢有介绍啊，动名词跟一些不定词的用法。我们现在再介绍一些其他的呢。后面要接动名词的啊、uh, 动词。Williams, could you please、uh, read the words for us? I definitely are. Word number one is dislike. 啊、uh, ，不喜欢。Enjoy. 很啊、uh, 享受。Deny. 拒绝。Resist. 啊、uh, 反抗。You、can't help. 啊、uh, 不得不。The sentences. Many students dislike getting up early. 许多学生呢不喜欢早起。Children enjoy playing in the water in summer. 小孩子最喜欢在夏天玩水了。那有些动词呢，后面是要接不定词的。我们现在来看看几个例子。啊，先看看后面接不定词的动词。The verbs, please. Our first verb is agree. 同意。Appear. 出现。Be able to. 啊，有能力。Expect. 期待。Hope. 希望。Offer. 啊，提供。Two countries finally agree to cooperate. Ah, these two countries, 呢，终于同意要合作了。The boy appeared to calm down. 那男孩终于安静下来了。A college graduate can't afford to buy a new car. 一个大学毕业生呢，无法负担一台新车。Students expect to get a quality education at school. 学生期待在学校呢，能够获得良好的教育。This is the end of the lesson. Uh, Williams, thank you very much for being here. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much, Michelle. Yay! Ow! <laughs>